Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest pictures. Crowd rises for the national anthem of Germany. impressive match that How are you reading the formation? Well, one of the attacking advantages in this setup, Peter, is the impact that can be made between fullbacks and the attacking wide players. These combinations, when worked well, can be a real handful for any opposition. And we're likely to witness that again. You often see the wide man drift inside to allow the fullback to make the run out wide, and it can just throw the opposition off kilter. the whistle Jim, which player is best equipped for this game yeah Joshua Kimmich in many ways the ultimate modern fullback in that he contributes just as much offensively as he does defensively he seems to have a great instinctive understanding of when to move forward and and that means he rarely gets caught out of position on the counter-attack he should be a key player for this team yes they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him Right through the middle. Muller. Out to the right. A real chance to break. Kimmich. Germany seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? Yeah, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. Forward it goes. A long ball, but not especially accurate. Sade. Gundogan. Sane. A buccaneering run from the defender. It is good for it! No, it just couldn't quite turn it in. No, that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out.
cuts it out. Rudiger. Ball is over the line. Well, it's a poor throw that, picked off with relative ease. Now it's Muller, played out to the right. Lovely bit of skill. And here's Muller. That's sprayed out wide. Now a chance to break. Finds himself eased off the ball. Oh, but still, he just read it. Gundogan plays it forward. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, the referee's given it. Won't reach that. Gets it back. And it's Muller. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Looks to clip it forward. That's a goal kick. Yes, the referee concurs. Muller. Alaba. Well, that's where he wants it. Germany clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. And the weighted pass. <laughs> Defending of the desperate variety. In again. <laughs> Henriks can hoist it clear. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Here we go again then. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Gundogan. Henriks. And it's Sané. a look and place it in, in for a header oh she needed a better contact i have to commend the wing plate but i have to condemn the defending they've got to stop the cross Still a little short of forward momentum lacking thrust cut out in the nick of time brunt For a throw in. Ta. Kibik. Has he found his man? Very little 
to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. Brandt. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Sorry. He's a clever pass. That's a pop! Last ditch defending, but that'll do. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Tries a shot! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Austria really putting a few chances together here. Taking one can only add to such good momentum now. Austria making consecutive changes here. Gets wrestled off the ball. Well, the pressure is relentless. It's a very, very high press. Yeah, because it's all about winning the ball back at the earliest opportunity. A trigger by one player for the others to follow and designed to force opposition mistakes. It over to the other flank. Austria can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Hoists it forward. Dangerous looking ball. And it's come to nothing. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. A chance to play it in. for goal! <laughs> Tries to get it clear. As scoreless games go, I'd be happy to see this one carry on a bit longer because it's had great honesty and hard work and total commitment. As for a possible winner, I'm still not predicting. Austria desperately need a goal and this could well be their last chance. The defence can get it clear. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. <laughs> that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And that's it. A uh, frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Defence is broadly in charge, and it has finished goalless. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, neither side could...